Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network. Today we're going to show you how to fix a crooked image using the crop tool. This is a very simple fix and an easy way to make a big difference in your photograph. So we'll get started. As you can see, our model Mona looks like she's falling over to the right here. Um, the angle isn't sharp enough to be a deliberate choice on the photographer's part, so we want to straighten out the photo. The first step is to grab your crop tool, and that's on your toolbar right here. We're going to go up to the Tools option menu, and you can see that I have it set at 8 inches by 12 inches by 300 ppi, or pixels per inch. Most cameras are set at a 2-3 ratio, so this size gives me a big full frame file, and 300 ppi is recommended for printing. For more information about crop ratios, visit our blog. We have a whole post dedicated there to explaining this math. So when the crop tool is set up correctly, all we have to do is hover the cursor in the gray here outside the image, and a curvy angled arrow will appear. This will allow us to tilt the image. When we start to turn the picture, this grid appears. We can use that to line up the columns until the image is straight. Now, sometimes architecture like this can get a little worn over time, and you can see that these columns are a little bit bulbous. They kind of um, come out in the middle more than they do towards the top and the bottom. Also, because of perspective issues, we want to use a line closer to our model. Um, I'm using this straight line right here at the bottom of this column. Um, that way we don't get the scene mostly straight, but then our model still feels like she's falling over in the frame. And we'll show you how to correct some perspective issues next week. Once you have the crop the way that you want it, just double click inside the picture and you're done. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or by visiting our resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the IDU Photographer Network at www.idufotonet.com.